Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, and are you an Optimized Press 2 user? Perhaps you're wondering, how can I add a really cool blog feature to my homepage? And, well, this is kind of a feature area right here on the official Optimized Press website. And um, this is actually a, a sales page, and you can also run a regular website or a blog, and that's what I'm running on my uh, Marketing Easy Street. And you can see here, I've got this awesome feature area that helps me to build my list. I've got a cool video that shows how I'm leveraging the internet to make money. And then people can add their name and their email address and click let me in and they're good to go. Now I'm in the process of launching a brand new website that kind of targets the process of building a custom home. And I thought it would be really fun to launch this website and as we go through the process, my wife and I, we can kind of journal our progress. And then I thought, well, I'm launching a new site. Why don't I create an in-depth training uh, series that will help people to um, launch a, a website using WordPress? And that's what I've got here. If you access, um, it's a little slow as it loads. Uh, Marketing Easy Street, and then just click on WordPress Tutorial Installation and Optimization. You'll see I, I've got an in-depth tutorial that walks you through installation, configuration, deleting uh, content, leveraging keywords, optimization, themes, and the theme I'm using is Optimize Press 2, so you can see how I use Optimize Press 2. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of the feature area like I mentioned on the new site. So here's the new site. We don't have the feature implemented yet, and I want to show you some of the really cool functionality. Let's go. Number one, I'm in the dashboard. I'm going to navigate to Optimize Press, and I want to use Blog Settings. Now, the, one of the really powerful features with Optimize Press 2, as I mentioned, is that not only can you create an opt-in page or a sales page, but you can create a full marketing blog, and that's what I've been using, and I really like it. And one of the features of the blog is in Modules, you can go ahead and turn on the home page feature area and I'm going to basically say yes turn that on and now what you're going to see is we've got video opt-in form content and submit button so I'm going to go ahead and start setting this up so first of all I'm going to simply select uh, video I'm going to use URL okay and I'm going to add in the uh, URL of this video here so obviously the first thing you're going to need is a video and I created this nice little video here um, and what's really fun is I actually edited and filmed everything on iOS. I filmed the video on an iPhone and I edited on an iPad and the video looks really uh, pretty awesome, it looks tremendous. <clears throat> there's my wife at the lot and here's us driving up to the lot so I basically I'm downloading this video from Vimeo now it's one of the things I really like about Vimeo is you can download um, uh, the content and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, s3 Fox and you can see here I'm using Firefox and if I go to tools and I go to s3 organizer you'll see that if I come up there we go. Here's the video, okay? Building custom home feature MP4. I'm going to add this to a bucket I created, and it's just like a file transfer or FTP program. And here we go, building a house blog. And I'm going to simply upload this to here. I've selected it, I'm going to select upload. And I gotta tell you, if you're not using Amazon S3 to store videos or images or back stuff up, it's really powerful and it's pretty easy to use. So you might want to do some research on Amazon S3 file storage. And right now the, the video is uploading, it's probably gonna take about five minutes. So I'll pause the video and then we'll continue to build out the Optimize Press 2 feature area. All right, so that took a few minutes and we're at 99% upload. It will clear in just a second or two. And then we need to basically uh, give permission uh, to visitors to the site to see the video, right? 
and it's still processing. There it is, it's complete now. So in other words, if I, if I right click when I'm using uh, S3 Fox, if I right click, I can see edit ACL. This is basically who can view the video. And right now you can see everyone is a red X. So I'm gonna say that's fine, Authentic, authenticated users, uh, and so on. So I'm gonna say okay. Now I need to simply get the URL of the file. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy URL to the clipboard. And just let's see if we've got that in the right spot. There we go, there's our video. I'll pull this up here. Hi there, Happy New Year everyone. It's January 1st, 2014. Okay, so that's the video we're gonna play in our opt-in area. So let's now go back to Optimize Press on our new website and let's install the settings. So we've selected URL, so you can also use embed code from like YouTube. Um, we're gonna use the URL, so we're just gonna simply put the URL here. <clears throat> Then we need to create a, uh, an image to use for the placeholder of the video. So let's see if we can find one now. Let's see what we have in the media library. I don't like any of these, so I'm gonna go to Big Stock Photo and it looks like I'm logged in. I'm going to search for home blueprint. Oops. Home blue. There we go. Home blueprint. That looks perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my cart. Now I'm going to go ahead and view the cart. I'm going to download that. I'm going to use that as the image. I'm going to save the file. I'm going to drag it to my desktop. Okay, I'm renaming the file. Now I'm going to come back to the site and I'm going to say, I'm going to select the file. So I'm going to simply drag and drop the file in and you'll see the file I'm going to use in a minute. It's going to pop up. Okay, so there's our, our home image and that's going to be kind of like the video thumbnail. That's going to look cool, huh? And do we want to hide control? No, I'm going to use those to play. Do we want it to auto play? No. Auto buffering. And we're going to select this. What this does is basically, even if someone doesn't click the play button, as soon as they land on the site, the vi video begins to download. That way, if they do click the video, it's already started to download and it'll stream nice. Let's select 560 to 315. I'm gonna leave these alone. Sharing is on. Let's go ahead and add the, uh, let's just click save. We can go back if we don't like something, or if we want to change it. So we're going to go back to modules, homepage feature area. Okay, so we've got the video, we've got the file, that's good. Now we're going to go to the opt-in form. And this is one of the things I just love about Optimize Press 2. It's integrated with my Aweber account. I select Aweber. It says, what list do you want to select? And it's actually this one right here, and you can see all my lists and whatnot. Now I'm gonna add a thank you page later.
Okay, so I'll add that later. So now I'm gonna keep this blank. Actually, let's just do this. Let's, um, we'll drop them off at um, this page here. So when someone signs up for the list, they'll be taken to this first blog post. So the name, So they're going to add their name. That looks good. Let's save the settings again. All right, now we're going to go in there again and we're just going to keep continuing to check off. So we've got the opt-in form. We've got the content. The title is going to be Simply add your name and email and never miss an update, okay? First name, email address, perfect. Save settings. Let's go into modules again. Submit button. Okay, add me now. And that looks about good. All right, let's see what we got now. So we didn't have the feature area before. We'll go back to the home page. everyone it's January 1st 2014 and we thought it would be I think what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and load the page again one of the things that's happening here is notice we've got this uh, the play button and it's white but this is a black and white sketch so what can I do well I could find another image but I really do kind of like the way this looks it real it looks real nice so what I'm gonna do is simply autoplay the functionality how do we do that? Go back to modules, go back to home page feature, dimensions, autoplay. everyone it's January 1st 2014 and we thought all right that looks awesome that's gonna work pretty pretty good for right now what I might want to do is just get I kind of like the idea of people clicking this to play let's see if there's another image that might work oh, I did it again blueprint that's what I wanted blueprint All right, so that's basically the functionality of the feature area. And I might mess around with a different image, but for right now, I think we've covered uh, the topic at hand and we're gonna move on to our next video. You can see here, uh, again, it's kind of got a, you can see it a little bit better. It'd be nice to be able to make that black or something. I'll have to talk to the guys at Optimize Press about that. But let's go back and get on board with uh, the rest of the training videos. I'm really excited about this next video I'm going to share with you. And we'll scroll down. It's uh, still loading from Facebook. Now it'll speed up here. 
Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about page speed. And you'll be amazed at you know, how slow WordPress can be. And it's really important to Google. So in the next video, I'll go ahead and help you optimize your website to load much faster. It'll take you less than five minutes and will uh, greatly improve your page speed. See you on the next video.